All right, guys, so I was wrong. What's good, everybody? It's Sean here, and I am back today to give you guys a long, long overdue review of the acronym Nike Air Vapor Max Mach 2 in the Light Bone and Volt colorway. So let me be straight with you guys. So when I first saw pictures of this shoe back in March, I was totally not a fan. I know it's super cliche to hear, and I'm sure people say this all the time, but these definitely grew on me in the past few months. I think seeing these on feet and in real life really helped shift my opinion to the point where I went out and copped a pair for myself a few weeks ago. So this shoe is part of a three sneaker set between Acronym and Nike. Alongside this colorway, they also dropped one in black and neon, and then a third colorway in dark stucco. The retail price on this was 225 US dollars or 300 Canadian dollars, and the official colorway for this shoe is simply light bone and fold. So while I've worn a pair of the normal Vapor Maxes before, this one was my very first mock version, meaning there are no laces on the shoe. As expected with Acronym, the design on these is very, very loud, and because of that, a lot of people either hate it or love it. Taking a closer look at the upper, this is constructed out of Flyknit, and as you notice, there's this interesting black and white pattern. So this pattern is supposed to represent the A from Acronym. Wrapping around the front of the toe box, we have this fuse overlay that gives you that additional durability in this specific key area. We have more of this fuse wrapping around the back heel portion, but as you take a closer look, you'll see that on the lateral side, we have Acronym and Nike branding fan printed on top, and then on the medial side, we only have the Nike swoosh. Turning these over to the back, we have this bright strip of Volt with Acronym branding in black, and then on either side of this Volt strip, we have both the Vapor Max and Acronym logos. So the tongue is constructed out of white flyknit, but this tongue is connected to the rest of the body of the shoe. Instead of laces, stitched on top of the tongue, we have this elasticy feeling fabric. This is done in a very loud volt color. At the very top of the tongue, we have the Vapor Max logo in black. As for the inside of the shoe, except for this inner heel portion right here, the entire interior is simply just flyknit. Take a look at the insoles. So these come with a black colored insole with both Acronym and Nike Air branding in white. So this flyknit upper sits atop this Vapor Max Air unit. Unlike your traditional Vapor Maxes where you usually can see through the air bubble, in this case Nike has actually painted over a good chunk of the air unit. So it's completely opaque in pretty much 3 quarters of the midsole. As you take a look at the bottom, you'll notice that these top two air chambers are clear, but the rest of the air unit is painted in white. Overlaid on top of certain key areas like the sides of the forefoot and this bottom heel portion, we have additional rubber reinforcements to give you that added durability. From a sizing standpoint, so my feet measures as a true size 10, slightly on the wider side, and I normally go with a 10.5 in my other VaporMax models. For these VaporMax mocks though, I felt like they ran a little bit bigger than your traditional VaporMax, so with these, I was able to go a half size down to a size 10. Comfort wise, so these mocks pretty much felt identical to my normal VaporMax models. Other than the lack of laces, they felt identical on feet, meaning initially they probably will feel a little bit clunky when you wear them but over time and with wear, they will break in and become much more comfortable. So with all that being said, now let me lace these up and show you guys how these look on feet. As I mentioned earlier in my video, this is a very, very striking, but very polarizing design. I used to be in the camp that didn't like this shoe, but I've totally gone 180, and I'm proud to say that I am a fan of this colorway specifically. They don't go for too much over retail, and if you're lucky, you might be able to find a desperate seller willing to let these go for retail. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this Acronym VaporMax Mach 2. Of the three colorways that dropped, which one is your personal favorite? If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give me that thumbs up, 
hit that subscribe button down below and give me a follow on Instagram as well at sgo8 and check out my website at seangoca So until next time, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you for the continued support and I'll catch you guys in my next video.